and welcome to you if you've just tuned in. Working on the Otago Peninsula painting of the South Island of New Zealand. I'm Andrew White. And a little bit about me really, if you'd like to know. I started painting again in 1993. After doing art all through high school, decided that I was going to pick up the brushes again. Give it a blast. Won the best landscape prize in the Mollies, Molly Morpeth Canada Art Award, which is a esteemed art award in New Zealand here. In 95, I think. Maybe just a couple of years after I started painting, which was a real, real boost. And here on my brush. So I've been painting now for over 20 years. Again. I've had six solo exhibitions so far. First of one was sponsored by the radio station I worked at called The View From My Back Door. <laughs> Tacky huh? And um, then I had another big exhibition of paintings in Whakatani, where I lived. And then I did a beautiful big South Island exhibition which I adored. called the South. And then I did an East Coast of the Bay of Plenty exhibition here in Tauranga, the Bethlehem Gallery. And that was uh, focusing on landscapes from throughout the um, East Coast of the Bay of Plenty, which is one of my favourite places to go painting. Which is where I'm heading up to next week. Exhibition-wise, I haven't been really active the last few years. I've been too busy with my studies and other things. And I haven't really produced a huge amount of work. And I haven't really been marketing myself to my extent that I usually do, which is... That's okay. It all comes in fits and starts. I actually think this is a really good way of marketing one's work on YouTube and just what I'm doing now because the more people that I can get watching these the more famous I become as an artist and I think that's important this day and age I do draw the line at chopping off my ear and mailing it to my girlfriend though I'm sure she wouldn't want my ear my wife would probably have something to say about that too so yes Sorry, Van Gogh, your tactics are not going to be part of my strategy. As crazy as I am. Yes. But I could become the hairy motorcycling artist, though. I do like the idea of that. Uh, that's got potential, don't you think? The hairy artist? I give up. Funny that, eh? Okay, let's get some more texture going on into this foliage here. There's one thing I love about painting is the texture that you can achieve. And this stuff, when it dries, it dries like nails. So it's not coming off in a hurry. You know that I even once, I had a dirty painting that had been sitting around and whatever in the dust and the dirt in the workshop. I washed it with a half brush, one of those things, I don't know whether there's one around here. Water and some detergent <laughs> and I literally scrubbed it and it came up beautiful. But I wouldn't suggest you try it. But it never damaged my never damaged the painting, but the painting had been varnished though. 
and that makes a big difference. And um, one day when I get around to it, I'll uh, do a video of uh, varnishing, if you like, because I do a lot of that. I wait till the paintings are six months old, if I still have them at that stage. Usually I do. And I put a coat of uh, Winsor Newton Artists picture varnish over and I brush it on. And uh, yeah, you do it on the flat and I usually only give them one coat, make sure that I cover the whole, the whole thing and let them dry on the flat and uh, so that it doesn't run, otherwise if you stand them up, the stuff runs everywhere. And it provides a protective layer across the, um, the painting. Use a really good quality picture varnish, you don't scrimp on that. And uh, like I said, I use Winsor Newton Artist Picture Varnish. I use a satin finish, semi-gloss. And I achieve that by um, mixing gloss and matte together. The gloss is extremely dominant, so you only need a little bit of that. Yeah, it works really well. I like where this is headed. Detail is coming up quite nice. I'm trying to hold my head in a position where this camera on my head can pick up what I'm doing. Can you? Mixing this paint through. looking good. A bit of a purpley grey colour has come out of that. And I'll put some fat mixed with it. Give it a bit of a stir. There we go. Well, it's going to be a challenge to get all these um, videos edited and everything by the time I go back to um, my studies the end of this month and get every, all the other jobs around the house done that I need to do and, oh, go for my trip up the coast and oh, I love every motorcycle and whether you can see that mm -hmm. doing that is just to bring a little bit of highlight into this hillside down through here. So I'll just pick up on some of these little trees, just some of the texture that's in there. Just brushing it gently across, obviously wet on dry. If you can see this, you notice that all the, if you watch this in HD in particular, I don't know whether your broadband's fast enough to watch this in HD, but if you can, there's a little button on the bottom of the YouTube that sets the quality, and you can watch this in HD, so it'll be a lot clearer. And the little, the little mix in, on the paint from the underground layers is actually really good at picking up just little tabs of paint onto the, onto the, the spines of the paint. I actually really like this technique for... Uh, for bringing in highlights. Blobs of paint on the end of the brush to bring into the for the trees in the background along the ridge line. Alright. That's looking good. 
I might do as well is bring a little bit of green into it as some of these hills, some of this colour up in here. Yeah, just mixing as I go. Brush a bit of a wipe off. Put some of these highlights onto these trees along this ridge line. This warm paint. Lots of texture. Not too much has to be, um, make it jump out too far. These trees are all through here. Obviously, just wilding pines, I think, most of them. Scrub. All farmland through here. Not really a lot of native bush, I suppose. But there'd be the odd tree here and there. The odd Budakawa or Kahakatiya tree. I don't know where the Pahudakawa grow this far south. Somebody might be able to tell me. Kahakatiya is a, is a Maori word for a white pine. very common in New Zealand. We have some of the most amazing trees in the world. Probably one of the most amazing trees is the Kauri tree. And the biggest we have in the country, well, well one of the most popular and most visited is Tani Mahuta, which is up the Northland coast of New Zealand. That's a massive mountain of a tree. It's about 5,000 years old. Beautiful big tree. I know the sequoia trees in, in uh, California are now incredible too. But I think Tony Mahood is right up there with them. In my opinion anyway. Yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying this. I like where this is going. The landscape through there is looking great. A few more little blotches here and there. Down in here, I think. It's lacking down in here. In the detail. Not a little tree and shrub down in here, obviously. There don't want to be too many of them. Yep. Don't want to get too carried away with the uh, with the trees. Otherwise, it'll start to lose its credibility. This is farmland. And it'll be a case of overkill. But I think the the hills are looking good. I think the hills are alive with the sound of music. Can I think of any other cliches? 
keep that song out of my head for the rest of the day. some more of these trees from this tree line down into here. Good, looking good. I get really excited with my painting at this stage because this is when it really all comes together and the work is um, so satisfying. In other words, this is when it really gets fun. Some dark around the base of these trees that I just created before, just to give them some credibility. So yeah, there's lots of shades of green that I'm working with, but you know, simply by mixing them up as I go, I'm creating different things all the time. They're all quite similar, but different. But that's what nature is. There are so many shades of greens and blues and reds in the environment. So as so long as you keep your palette moving and changing, you're not sticking to the same colors all the time. But just remember to work in blocks, like I'm working in a block here with a different shade. Because it's no different than your garden. You notice how your garden looks so much better if you make blocks of color? and which contrasts with other blocks of colour and, and keeping in harmony. Same thing really. Oh, there's our pussycat. Hello, Reggie's. Hello. You come to see me. A guest on the show. That's great. What do you want? You want to go outside? Better let you out. Come on. Go outside. Sick of sleeping on the couch all day, which is what she normally does. Comes and goes. Goes outside to chase a few birds and well she doesn't get them anyway, fortunately. And then comes back in and goes for another sleep. And then in the process of that she will also dig up a few of the seedlings out of my garden. Which um, I find to be quite annoying. But you know, she doesn't know. Oh 
Okay, now I've been fiddling away at this for ages now. I'm wondering whether the cameras are still working. It says it's recording. That one does. I know the one on my head's working. The Contour Action Cam seems to be pretty reliable. Get some more highlight going on in here. And you know what? I think we'll leave it here today. And uh, I'm going to put it back to bed. I'm going to stare at it and look at it, ponder over it. I'll scratch behind in the back of my ear while I'm looking at it, and then I'll think what else does it need before I finish it off and sign it. I'm going to sign it down in here, actually. I left a little bit of a blank spot there for it. And then I'll have to paint the base underneath it. And then it'll be good to go. But what I need to do is to figure out and to think about it for a few days before I do any more on it. So, I'll leave it at that for now. Join me for the next one. We'll finish this painting off. I'll take a nice photograph of it in the studio so we get a nice detailed picture of it to show you on the next one. And uh, you'll enjoy that. Enjoy your week. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.